Update 1 on Invest 93P, which is in the formative stages of becoming a tropical cyclone, located in the Sullivan Sea at 11.5 degrees south, 155.7 degrees east. This is, of course, as of December 10th, 2021, at 1 p.m. Arawa time. That is in the Sullivan Islands, of course. Right now, we're looking at 30 mile an hour winds with a pressure of 1,004 millibars. It's moving to the south southwest at about 11 miles an hour. No CDPS at this time, as it is still far away from land. Here it is on the map. Of course, there is no wind field data, given the fact that this has not attained gale force winds at this time. 30 miles an hour, which means it is about 10 miles an hour shy before it does reach that point. Looking into the distances, it is about uh, 322 miles away from Bonaira, 823 from Luganville, 846 from Kumak in New Caledonia, 948 from Port Vila, and 1,028 from Noumea. That is 518 kilometers away from Anaira, 1,325 from Luganville, 1,361 from Kumak, 1,525 from Port Vila, and 1,655 from Noumea. Of course, Kumak and Noumea will be having to watch the system closely as this does pose a threat to New Caledonia. Going into the intensity estimates, there really isn't much tracking this at the moment, which leaves us with ATCF as the best bet as to what we're going with. That is 30 miles an hour, and that is the basis for the intensity given in this video update. And of course, there is no cone on this just yet, so of course we're looking at the GFS ensembles, which do intensify this into a category 2 or 3 cyclone as it continues to pass into the Coral Sea and potentially make a close pass near New Caledonia, so that, it, that is going to be something uh, that the region there needs to watch in the coming days. Of course, it's going to be about five or six days before it eventually does get there. So, unfortunately, we're looking at a pretty significant land threat as our third potential system for the Southern Hemisphere season. And, of course, you can look at the sea surface temperatures and figure that out for yourself. It's pretty warm there. 28 degrees Celsius temperatures going all the way down into New Caledonia, so it's definitely got that support structure in terms of the temperatures of the waters around it. So, as long as it stays in those, that's definitely going to be pretty good for the system. And you can see that in terms of the intensity models, a lot of it take it up to 75 miles an hour or further up, although, of course, the HWRF is going a little bit high, calling for a major system. In terms of wind shear, that is expected to lay low for a bit, although that could be changing towards the 14th and 15th. Sea surface temperatures will be, remain pretty good until the 14th and 15th, and mid-level relative humidity is looking good until the 14th and 15th as well. So it's pretty much got four days uh, before things really begin to take a downhill trend for it. But you can see on the satellite trend right now, it's affecting parts of uh, the Solomon Sea area, and it will be entering the Coral Sea in the coming days. It is looking pretty good. You can definitely tell it's forming into a tropical cyclone. Needless to say, it's got a pretty good shot at becoming the first system in the Southern Hemisphere this season to become a Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, so that is going to be something we're watching. New Caledonia needs to be on the lookout for this, of course, and we here will be keeping you updated on the latest as this system becomes better well known on what it's doing. We'll be keeping you updated with another update tomorrow afternoon local time.